There's still a lot of mistrust of the vaccine out there. I know it's political. You know, it's interesting that not only does this virus, but this vaccine knows which way you vote. I took the vaccine and here's the bottom line. There are two major issues regarding the vaccine. One is a lot of people are very concerned about the messenger RNA. Well, the messenger RNA is a new type of applying vaccine. No, it isn't a genetic modification. No, it isn't going to turn us into three-eyed monsters. At least I don't think so. I know that I can't prove that, but here's the thing. Any vaccine is going to have risk. All vaccines have had some risk. This vaccine will have some risk, but think about it. Over for the next six to 18 months, I mean, this is a conversation my mother and I had. She's in her 90s and she elected to have the vaccine. I elected to have it. And here was the thing. Well, we both acknowledged that over the next six to 18 months, we're going to get exposed to that spike virus, the outer coating of the coronavirus. And here's the question. When you get exposed to that spike protein, do you want it to be attached with the rest of the virus? Or would you rather it be separate and alone, even if it's associated with the vaccine? I made the choice, risk or no, to get that spike protein alone and associated with any of the risks that went with the vaccine. So that's item number one, just the you know overall risk of viruses. The second one is related specifically to the mRNA mechanism. There are some out there. The J&J, &J, I think, is the one that's available in the U.S. that is old style vaccine. I think it may have been on an adenovirus platform, but it's an old style platform that we've been taking for decades. It's not an mRNA. So there's a non mRNA vaccine available as well. If you're that worried, it's interesting about, I'd say at least 10% of my patients have felt very strongly they didn't want to take the vaccine. Most of them was based on this assumption that there was potential genetic modification from the mRNA or potential risks that we just didn't understand yet from the mRNA. And what's weird is that most of them didn't know that we had a non mRNA vaccine available. Thank you, John, for sharing all that. Winning stuff is exciting. It's fun, right? Why don't you win some stuff now? Click the link below, watch the video, answer the questions, and the more you answer right, the better your chances of winning. Give it a try. Win things like free courses that can save your life.